ladies and gentlemen, I'm Diana Felzone, and this is the Diana Felzone Show on Pal Talk. Here every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm very excited today, and I'm sorry for the delay, but I was waiting for the one, the only, Dr. Judy Karansky. For those of you in the United States, you know her from the syndicated talk show, radio talk show, Love Phones, where she talked about everything dirty, scandalous, and oh so naughty. Well, today is no exception. In fact, the Dinah Felzone Show has never been more heated up. Let's just say that if you're in the northern regions of Canada or Sweden or anywhere that's a little cool right now, I'm not really sure because it's summer around most places in the, in the world, uh, but if it's a little cool where you are and you have a sweater on, be sure to take it off because the temperature is rising in this room today. Uh, usually we talk primarily about dating and relationships and the problems that affect you. And one of the biggest things I always hear is, what makes you an expert, Diana? What gives you the credentials to discuss things? Well, first of all, I think every single one of you out there today is an expert in their own right. You all have your stories. You all have things that have made you the person you are today. And I feel like if you have something to share, even if it's off topic, that's okay. Because here at Pal Talk, it's highly interactive. And it's about you, and it's about me connecting, talking to one another. And without that, we're not taking full advantage of Pal Talk. Now, today's topic is really fun and a little scandalous, and I'm hoping that you guys are going to enjoy it. Many people are always saying, Diana, how can I spice up my sex life? How can I make things interesting? You know, I don't want to bring in a third party. I don't want to do one of those menage a trois or swing or anything like that. <laughs> But there is something that you can do, and we're going to, Dr. Judy is in studio, but we're going to give her a minute to just calm down, because she has a busy life. This woman is everywhere and anywhere at all times of the day. So we're going to give her a second to settle down, but today's discussion is very exciting and stimulating, and I hope that if you do have children in the room, you cover their ears, <laughs> because it is going to be a little provocative. Today's topic is tantric sex. And for some of you out there, you're thinking, tantric sex? Well, it's mostly connected to a very famous person, Sting, who says, hey, we all can have sex for, you know, 16 hours. Wow, 16 hours. Sounds like a bunch of hooey, right? Total BS. It's really not. And today, Dr. Judy is going to help us unlock the keys on how to make your bedroom the once boring mattress that you do the same positions every day. Well, today, that's all going to change. Light some candles, throw on some red satin sheets, and have a good time because Dr. Judy is in the house to teach you how to give the best lovemaking of your life. Dr. Judy, would you like to join us? Yes. Thank oh, you so much. Wow. You look fantastic. Whoa. I was rushing. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. You look gorgeous. Thank you. As always. Yes, well, if everybody practiced tantric sex. It would oh, be tantric. no, well, tantric or tantric, it's like, it's tomato, tomato, it's tomato. Right, 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 it depends, but you're right, truly, there are some celebrities who do that, like Stay. Mm -hmm. So Trudy Styler, who is his wife, should be beaming all the time. Yes. And Woody Howson also practices so tantric sex. That's how sex. he keeps a young woman so happy. <laughs> well, Isn't she like 20 years his junior or something insane like that? No. Well, yeah, fortunately, Sting's wife is not so much his junior. <laughs> Woody Harrelson lives in Hawaii, so that's a perfect place. Actually, there are lots of people who practice tantric sex who live in Hawaii and California. Wouldn't you expect that? Yeah, I guess that does make sense. It it's so beautiful there, and you can just enjoy the serenity yeah. that washes over you, as opposed to the hustle and bustle of metropolitan areas. Yeah, that's right. It's true, because you were absolutely right, Diana. The environment makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. So when you said... Red satin sheets and lie back and relax and, you know, you're about to be treated. Those were the exact right words. Treat yourself. <laughs> create the beautiful environment. Right. Even if you have mess around. I have lots of papers around. But the trick is for tantric sex, cover them. Take a beautiful scarf and just whatever is there, 
cover it with the scarf, and all of a sudden, it's a different, beautiful environment. Right. If you get a green scarf, it'll look like Maui. <laughs> oh, so it's all about ambiance. I guess that's really the first. Ambience. So for people out there, if they say, well, what's the step one to tantric sex? It's all about setting the right mood in the right environment. Yes, and that's true for all sex. But with right. Tantra, the key is, and most people think, by the way, really, Diana, they think Tantric sex means you last long, because you said that, sing 12 hours. And so... In a great accent, by the way, I said that. Well, you, I you said that in a great accent. No, you are kidding. so talented. Wow, you did. I love Dr. Judy. She makes me feel good about myself. Oh, because you deserve to. You're beautiful. Inside and outside. So the, the truth is, yes, in the environment. But the key about lasting long for men, because they all want to know. Right. How do I last long? This is not, I think that's probably the biggest concern for a lot of our guys out yes, there, too. It's, it is. You know, I don't want to be the, hate to say it, but the one pump chump. Right, know? right. Who wants that? Chump. <laughs> they call it, one woman said, the egg lasts, takes about three minutes. Why do you? I mean, there's lots of. Oh, I know. It's if, like, a, if a lady said that to me and I was a guy, I'd be like, ouch, that, <laughs> that's rude. <laughs> right. It's insulting. And they never forget it. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's the thing. I've had so many men say to me, that was said to them in some way, and then they're worried. And it happens again because the truth is the anxiety mm -hmm. either loses 